Hello, this is Rebecca Kelly from the Cecil County Fair. I'm the 4-H livestock chairperson uh, for the livestock sale that we offer for our 4-Hers. And today I'm going to take you through a short slideshow if you are interested in being a sale bidder this year for our virtual 4-H sale. As you can see, this is a team effort. So the members listed on here are all those that are helping to make the livestock sale this year and every year previously um, work. So this year, like I mentioned in 2020, due to the unprecedented times, we're going to have a virtual auction, which hopefully after you view this slideshow and listen to me, you will have zero questions. It'll be very user friendly for you. So the animals that will potentially be offered, very similar to what we offer during our face-to-face -face sales, our market beef steers, dairy steers, hogs, lambs, meat goats, rabbit trios, broiler chicken pairs, and meat duck pairs. So this is your opportunity to support local 4-H youth and to purchase some of Cecil County's 4-H finest hand-raised animals. The online sale will start at noon on Friday, July 31st, and the first lot will close starting at noon on Saturday, August 1st. Bidding will close every three minutes. Lots close at three minute increments. So an example, lot one closes at 12 noon, lot two closes at 12.03, lot three closes at 12.06, etc. Animals will be sold per lot. So beef steers, dairy steers, market hogs, market lambs, and market meat goats are sold individually. Broilers and meat ducks are sold in pairs, so of two, and meat rabbits are sold as a trio. No actual weights of animals, only estimated weights, as we, are un we were unable to hold face-to-face weigh-ins. However, the kids as well as their parents and those of us on the Livestock Committee have sent out videos and have been help helping the students to tape and measure their animals appropriately to give the most accurate weight. The sale order, all animals will sell randomly. A new um, thing this year for the 2020 sales that grand champions and reserve champions, they're optional to be sold. And instead of being sold at the beginning of the sale, they'll be sold towards the middle of the virtual sale. This was going to be something we were going to change for our face-to-face -face sale. And so we're gonna to continue to do that this for this year. 4-Hers will be selected to sell randomly. Every 4-Hers will sell well, one animal before they sell a second animal. The only Exceptions are if a 4-H has two or three different animals that were selected as a champion. Grand and reserve purchases. All champion and reserve animals that are sold in the sale photos will be sent to the buyer and promoted in next year's premium book and sale flyer. The purchaser of a grand champion animal will receive a banner and reserve champion animals will receive a plaque. Why buy? So you might be thinking, why would I want to participate in this? Um, I think for myself and for those of us in this community, this is something that is um, such a big deal. 4-H is such a great experience for kids. And given the times that we're having, now you know where your meat is coming from. Um, the livestock sale marks the culmination of months of hard work when 4-H members offer their project animals for sale to the highest bidder. You have the opportunity to support local agriculture and 4-H youth by purchasing some of Cecil County's 4-H finest hand-raised market animals. All the proceeds often go to college educations or fund future 4-H projects. You're investing in future leaders and professionals. And as a buyer, you get the satisfaction of supporting hardworking 4-H youth and you get a local product. And not to mention, you can fill your freezer with some delicious meat. So since 4-H market animals are quality hand-raised market animals, they should dress out well. Beef and dairy steers should dress out at around 60%, swine 70%, lambs 50%, and goats 50%. If you and another person go together, you can split the meat and split the cost evenly. You can even divide the meat three or four ways. So um, below here, you'll see the, the cost approximations and calculations. Um, I won't read that all the way through to you, but as you can see, this is really something um, to get the most bang for your buck, especially if you go in together with someone else or even a third party.
So remember the following cost factors do vary and can change. The cost you paid for the steer, the cost paid by the commercial buyer, and the meat processing fees. Buyers have the choice to send their animals to Gavanel Meat Company in Conowingo. So lo listed here is their telephone number as well as their website. If you want the animal that you purchased to go to another processor, it's the buyer's responsibility to get the animal there. The sale committee and the seller will make arrangements to transport your animal that you've purchased to go to Gavanel only, but buyers are responsible for the processing costs. The broiler meat duck and rabbit processing is, is the responsibility of the buyer. However, sometimes the 4 h provides the processing for the buyer and then they hand deliver um, the product. So buyers, um, so alternative option if you don't want the meat. Typically, we have a turn back policy where then the animal is then resold and you only pay a fraction of the cost. However, this year, there, that is not an option. Um, you can turn back the animal to the 4 h -er. You do not get to keep the meat, but you have to pay the full price of the animal this year. So again, I'll repeat that. There is no option this year to purchase the animal and turn it back to the sale committee at market price. If you plan to turn it back, you have to pay the full price of, what, of your bidding. So a lot of times we have local businesses who come out and um, in the years past, everyone that purchases um, gets a little sign that says a 4-H supporter. And if you buy a Grand Champion or Reserve, you get a picture plaque and ribbons and banners. So you're able to display the buyer's information on um, in maybe your waiting room of the business that you're in. Also, in addition to that, we display the buyer's information on the outside of the beef and swine barn building during the fair. Um, there's a nice banner that's made and it's hung and it's shown of all those people who uh, were previous buyers the year before. And then all buyers will be printed on the buyer's list in the next Cecil County Fair catalog. And there might be articles advertising the buyers in local newspapers as well. Why buy? So again, potential tax benefits. You may be eligible to receive certain tax benefits by buying a 4-H livestock animal as a business. So businesses that buy animals may claim their participation in the sale as a business advertising expense. The buyer determines the expense amount. It is not based on the cost of the animal's purchase, but rather the value of business promotion received from the sale. This includes a display of buyer's information in the livestock building at the fair, printing the buyer's list in the next Cecil County Fair catalog and articles in local newspapers. So contact your accountant for more information. So this is something, um, this is a very important slide. Since this is a virtual sale this year, buyers if you are choosing to be a buyer and a bidder at our virtual sale, you will need to have access to a computer or smartphone with internet access and have a valid email address. In order to participate, you will need to register via email to auction at CecilCountyFair.org or call the Cecil County Fair with your personal information. At that point, you will be assigned a username and password and receive further instructions. You can do this in advance starting July 17th. And do not wait until last minute to register as you might miss an opportunity to bid. As a buyer, you decide on a price to bid for the market animal at auction. The market animal is sold to the highest bidder. After posting the high bid, winning bidders will be invoiced after the sale closes. The preferred method of payment is check. However, for an additional fee, buyers can potentially pay via credit card. At this point, we will give you a demonstration of the virtual sale system. All right, so right now, uh, as you can see, we're on our Cecil County Fair website. If you are a bidder, what will happen is you will be able to come in here. These are those side profiles that you see. These are actually pictures from last year. Um, and you will come in and you'll click bid now. So I'll go into the dairy steer. You will place your bid in this part. So let me say $5. Bid. Uh, 
Okay. And down here in these thumbnails um, is where your video will be, your other images. Um, and then our description will be your 200 word description of your animal goes here. Okay. So what you will see on the fair website and our fair website is www.cecilcountyfair.org. So after July 17th, check out the 30 second video that the youth have made to market their animals for the sale. When the virtual sale opens on Friday, July 31st at noon, you will see the following. A side profile image that will be used as the thumbnail of each animal being offered. A 30 second video of the 4-H'ers promoting the animals they will be selling. A video from the virtual show that will be used to promote each animal being offered. A written description of each animal being offered as well. For more information, please feel free to contact myself, Rebecca Kelly, at 443-206-8766 or my email that's listed. Also, April Barcheski, our 4-H educator at adhall at umd.edu. The Cecil County Fair phone number is 410-392-3440 or you can email at auction at cecilcountyfair.org. We hope and look forward to many of you joining in our virtual sale this year.